Today, it's time for the second part of our Christmas decoration video here from our home in England. Yok and I are so happy to be finally attaching a Christmas garland to our staircase. I then start decorating it with items we've had for many years, like these gorgeous bells that I handmade with my mom about 20 years ago. They are very classic and traditional. And this is the rest of our old decoration for the staircase. We keep it in a festive red and really love the result. We also decorate our hallway to get into the festive mood. We love simple paper chains made from music sheets. They are so easy to make. Seeing our figures from the All Mountains in Germany puts a huge smile on our faces. Using some greenery for pictures and paintings make them look very special and Christmassy. On our upper staircase, I'm using some old decoration again that we also used in Germany. Some small Santa bags and guardian angels. This is so quick and easy, but we might get some greenery for the bags next week to make them look more beautiful. We thought a mini tree would look lovely in our cosy guest bedroom. We got some amazing baubles from Germany for it that have real vintage vibes. Last but not least, Victorian Christmas cards to finish off the look. This is our little Christmas corner in our guest bedroom. We hope you love it as much as we do. And we're done with the decoration. Yes. And the house looks really Christmassy now. I can't believe it, Jörg. It looks so festive. And we're so happy with the garland because we used to have that in Germany. So we haven't had it for seven years. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. So that's so special now. It feels really, really special. Yeah, it feels like being at home now. Yes, that's so true. And you know what? Jörg and I thought we would make a Christmassy bond cake now. In German, it's called Weihnachtlicher Kugelhupf. Oh, Christmas Kugelhupf. <laughs> yeah, we, we've never made it, as always. It sounds easy, so yeah, why let's not? Let's give it a try. Yes, let's give it a try. And we have a new bond pan and thought we would use that one today. This is everything you need for the cake. Make sure to check out the description box because you will find the recipe there. And this goes into the cake as well. It's Spekulatius Gewürz that we brought from Germany. We think you won't find that here in the UK. So that would be your alternative. Mixed spice. Yeah? Yeah. That should be fine, I think. 
Yeah, or allspice. Or allspice, yeah. Orange liqueur does go into the cake as well, and yolk thawed. Give it a try now. Yeah. <laughs> so this goes into the cake. Mm -hmm. No, that was more. And to you as well. Because this goes into yolk now. Let me try. Let me try so you can see my face because I mm. usually don't drink. <laughs> uh, you know, the orange is so good and then it kind burns. of burns. <laughs> kind of burns. How much does go into the cake? I don't I, know. I don't know. I think it says according to taste. So, so half a bottle? <laughs> I honestly don't know. Not much. No. So, what you have to do now is mixing your chopped almonds, the ground almonds, the flour and we're using gluten-free flour as always and then one teaspoon of your Speculatius Gewürz. I think that should be fine, yeah. That would take more. Really? Yes. A tiny bit. I would take all of it. That's too much. Okay, this. And then a teaspoon of cinnamon and baking powder. Now, let me get another spoon. Baking powder, one teaspoon, and then just mix this. Mmm. It already smells good. Yeah, it smells mm. very festive. Yeah. So, when you Done with that, add this mixture to your other mixture. And last but not least, it says add some of your orange liqueur. How much? It says three teaspoons. Teaspoons? Yes. Yeah, that's it. Do you want me to? M yeah. Oh, you can make me drunk. No, but it's not a problem because the alcohol will just be gone after baking. Yeah, but it should be all right. It's just for taste. Yes. And this goes into the oven for 40 to 50 minutes. Let's get naughty. Especially yep. because I haven't eaten all day and it's now almost four o'clock and I only have breakfast so this will make me drunk. Nope. <laughs> mm. No, that's good because honestly I don't drink alcohol but I, I can't really taste the alcohol so <laughs> use more. No, it's good. I think it's good. Mm. While the cake is in the oven, we thought we would make a fire. It's that time of year. Yeah. <laughs> now that didn't work, did it? No. <laughs> we haven't had that in months, so no. that will be nice, I think. And of course, we have a little bit of decoration, Christmas decoration in our snog as well. So in part one you saw 
our candle arch, Schrittbogen in German. This one, Jörg, that holds a small candle. This is very, very old. Yeah, 30 years old. Yes, that's 30 years old. We bought that in Germ in Germany, in Munich. In Munich, yeah. Yeah, while we lived there. And then, of course, our beautiful Christmas pyramid. And in case you just joined our channel, in a DIY video last year, Jörg made these paper trees. They are absolutely gorgeous and so easy to make. And in the very same video, we shared how to make this gorgeous paper chain. It's so stunning and very traditional. So we will link that video for you in case you want to check it out. Also from last year, a little bit of greenery here above our painting. This is full because we don't want to use real greenery so that we don't stain the walls. And yeah, just a little bit of decor here. Again, the gorgeous candle that we showed in part one. The bowl from Villa von Boch with Domino Steine. This is just a coaster for when you have a drink. And this is actually from Villa von Boch as well from years ago. Can you see it? Yeah, that's really beautiful. It's actually a box. I can't open it. Yeah, here. <laughs> here you go. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I like my fingers. <laughs> and yeah, through here you can see our tree. So that's really nice. Okay, cake should be ready now. And we have to wait for an hour or so and then can decorate it. Looks good so far. This is what we're going to use for the decoration of the cake. White chocolate, rosemary and cherries. The recipe actually says cranberries, but we couldn't get fresh cranberries. So I think cherries will be fine as well. Well, we'll give it a try. Yeah. Yep, we'll give it a try. Ah. <laughs> oh, it worked. Oh my goodness, I was so worried. Wow. Oh, it looks good. That was so easy. Yes, that looks amazing. We never had such a kind of cake. C cake. Yeah. <laughs> it good actually work. it actually said that the bun pan is called Jubilee Loaf Pan, but we used it for cake. Wow, it looks so pretty. Yeah. So happy. I'm really chuffed. Christmas bun cake a la Jürgen Kirsten. Delicious! I hope so. It looks divine. I think that's a perfect match. Yeah. And you know what? This is actually when we shared our china collection. This is from our wedding. So that's really old. We don't really use it anymore but it's perfect for the cake, we think. I yeah. love it. You know what, we have to try it. We just have to, and then we can end this video. Yeah. <laughs> it looks so beautiful that yeah. it's, it's almost a it's, shame. Yeah, it's really hard to, to cut something. <laughs> to destroy it. Yes, it's really hard to destroy it. Well, but 
we will have to do it because otherwise we can't tell you how it turned out so you know what we will we will share this one yeah, yeah is that fine Jörg? yes so oh, I hope it's good that's my biggest worry now mm. Is it good? Very good. Now, try. Mm. I like it. But, Jörg just said, and he's probably right, he could use a bit more of the allspice or speculatus yeah. yeah. words. But now, now you can taste it, but it could be a little bit more, but it's it's gorgeous. Yeah. It's a gorgeous cake. I love the almonds. This was quite a productive weekend. Yeah. It's now six o'clock and we're we're quite exhausted to be honest. Yeah. I'll have to cook dinner now. Yeah. yeah. Well, it it was a lot, but we enjoyed it. We really enjoyed it. The house looks wonderful now. And I got some cake. Yes. Delicious um, cake. Yeah. We hope you like the videos and we will be going away to a very special place. Yeah. So stay tuned for that because we think you will love it. It refers to one of the, our old older videos where we asked for suggestions where yeah. to stay. So we'll see you again very soon. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Take care. And until next time. Yeah, see you soon. Bye. Bye.